do not trade on Thursday. And if you do trade on Thursday and you make profit, this video is not for you. This video is for someone who has been trading on Monday. They make cool profit. They trade on Tuesday and on Wednesday. And when it comes on Thursday, they start losing those the same profit. And maybe by th and maybe by Friday, they blow the account. So if you want to know why you keep on making profits from Monday to Wednesday, then maybe the end of the week you lose the money. This video is for you. So guys, if you're interested, continue watching. So in today's video, I want to do a quick data analysis on GBPUSD and we'll do on four hour. You can see this chart is very clean. I don't have any zones, but I want to highlight one thing. I want to highlight, what I want to highlight on this chart is uh, three days, that is Thursdays, three Thursdays that has been happening. And then you can try and see why am I telling people not to trade on Thursday? So if you open this chart on 27th of last month, that is on January, this was Thursday. So this is a Thursday. And then that here, this is a Thursday. And then yesterday, 10th, this is a Thursday. So if you have a structure and then we can see why do I say don't trade on Thursday? Maybe I'll help someone. So in uh, in most of the time when you come, let's say you have found the market at this point. You have found the market at this point. So you'll come and put your zone. So we'll put our zone like that. So this is our zone. And you can see the market has been rejected how many times? This is what I see. The market has been rejected one and then the second time. So when it comes to this, the third touch so that the market can go up, the market breaks this and most of the time when market moves on Thursday, most of the time what I have come to see, it's a false move. So that's why I'm telling guys, don't trade on Thursday. Why? Because many people were right. They came here, they waited the market to give them a confirmation so that they can buy. And every time everyone was seeing this market and they were saying, I want to belong on GBPUSD, I want to buy. But when Thursday came and everyone saw this broke, uh, the, the zone was broken, now it changes everything. You have been waiting for this buy. And then just because on Thursday the market broke here, let me give it in a very, very clear way. Just because this market broke and just see... When it broke what it did, it it remained uh it printed a very momentum bearish uh candle. So no one would assume this bearish candle. So everyone will think of the market will retest and then now I'll do what I'll buy. So the the knowledge that you had, you wanted the market, you wanted to do what you wanted to. The knowledge you had and the patient you had, you want to buy this market. It drains away because on Thursday, the market gives you a fake breakout and you are anticipating for this market to retest so that you can start selling the market. And it does exactly as many people would think. Immediately, the market comes on the zone. It starts getting some rejection. So you have that thing on your on your mind that this zone was broken. This market had need to sell. And now it tests how many times? It test here and here. And every time people are putting sell position. And then guess what? The market goes up. So guys, this is the first example. So let's say you didn't trade on Thursday. So if you didn't trade on 27, you will come and see, wow, there's a fake breakout here because you don't know if it is a real breakout and you will mark your zone that way. So the minute you mark your zone, I just want to show you if you didn't trade here, if you, you are not observing the market on Thursday, this, the break you will not have even witnessed. So when you open your market on Friday, you see the market has dropped. Of course, you'll put a zone here and then you'll be targeting what? You will say, let me see how buyers will tend to behave when they come in. Guys, I don't know if you can see there are buyers here. This blue candle it's a buy uh, opportunity and then you don't do anything. So you have, you know where the market, let me just highlight it. You know where the market stopped. So you have the zone where the market stopped. So you, it is clear for you. The market stopped here because I don't trade on Thursday. Maybe this is a fake move. The market stopped here and the first buy to attempt to take the market is at that place. So all you do, you just adjust your box. You'll just adjust your zones. So I will pick this box. Now I, I place it to where the market is. And all I'm waiting now, all I'm waiting in this market, all I'm waiting in this market is what? This is what I'm waiting. All I'm waiting in this market 
is if this break on Thursday was correct, if this break on Thursday was correct, this th the, that zone should be broken. And that's all you need to do. If it was a correct move, the zone should be broken. Now you don't work on the what was broken. Now you say, if I, I will sell this market, I need to see this zone being broken and getting retested. So you don't have an idea of the zone that was created previously. And then you tell yourself, if this zone is uh, broken on the upward, I'm targeting to buy in this market. And guess what? What happened? Buyers broke that zone. And if you are not convinced here, they tried to retest here. And then now when they came to your zone that the market tend to break, they, they again broke this zone. So guys, I don't know if you are getting, but that's our first example. When you don't trade on Thursday, you have a clear mind you have a clear a clean chart and you know you cannot be manipulated by the happenings of the events so let's come here that again that february it was on a thursday so this was your zone so uh you have been trading the market and you know that is your box let me uh let me delete the market is at this moment and you know there's the that uh you have been trading the market and you know on thursday i don't want to trade guess what exactly thing happened they gave us a fake breakout so you can see if you had your zone here if you had this zone here from 2nd feb and then you came on thursday see what happened they broke that zone and you'll see very clearly so what i can say if you didn't if you didn't trade on thursday like i'm 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 i'm, I'm advising you when you come when you come this zone is invalid because you didn't trade this zone. So you'll find your market. Where will you find your market? You'll find your market at these two uh, momentum candles that tried to break. And that's where now you try to start uh, measuring or creating your zone. So what I'll do, let me show you quickly. What I'll do, I'll come here. So I've come after that Feb has happened. Now this is fourth. This is date fourth. Let me just mark it for you. This candle, let me highlight it. That candle is date four. This red candle. So on all I'll do, I'll say on that they had printed they had printed a red candle and I'll put my box. So we get away with this box because we don't want it. We are not working with that. So what was created on uh, on that on that Thursday and then the the low of that Thursday. So you have two lows. You have the highest of Thursday and where the first, uh, the last bearish momentum was seen. So in your mind, you think if this break, you can remember the market broke here so that this was the moment, the momentum that was seen on the momentum that was seen on Thursday. So in your mind, you say if this momentum is correct, it needs to break this zone on Friday. But guess what? They didn't break on Friday. And what did they do? They took the market down. And immediately, if your box is broken, you enter sell. So you have a very clean sell on Friday rather than being manipulated on Thursday. Guys, I hope you are seeing this. So um, now yesterday, this is yesterday. Everyone had a zone here. Pay attention this is a zone you had created your zone and they make sure this zone is not broken from monday it is not broken uh it's not broken on monday it's not broken on on tuesday or it's not broken on wednesday but guess what on thursday they break this zone again they break our zone so everyone who is trading on thursday they will be buying 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 but when i come and you see the manipulation of thursday what i say Immediately they break, they took the market uh, uh, down. So everyone was confused. Is this market wants to break here or break or, or going down? So what you do after you come back, now uh, Thursday is done, you are coming to Friday. This is what you do now. You create new zones and you say, where was the lowest on Thursday? It was this and the highest it was this. So will my box get broken? uh above it uh below it no so at this moment what you can do you can incorporate like moving average to guide you to trade on friday so if i put 200 moving average 
you can see the market has tested 200 moving average so if it has tested it if it has tested 200 moving average you know if this candle prints like this and it's a bullish engulfing candle i will have a buy opportunity and where is my tp your tp is here on the top because it was printed yesterday very clearly so when i say don't trade on thursday i have a reason why so guys if you have been trading on thursdays and you have been getting losses find this video helpful stop trading on thursday come back on friday if those zones that were created on Fr on thursday they are broken now you have a perfect entry thank you guys for watching until next time bye bye love you